This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. Good morning for everyone that's here. I was going to talk about the idea of treating precipitated opiate withdrawal. We see a lot of patients for opiate use disorder, and sometimes we see them for overdoses. Sometimes we see them for a host of issues, including withdrawals. But there's a set of patients that we have to deal with who either from patient getting Narcan and then going into pretty bad withdrawal, or sometimes when we treat people with buprenorphine, they go into a little bit of withdrawal. So I don't know if anybody's had these patients who you know, are an overdose by pre-hospital, they get big doses of Narcan, which luckily wakes them up and they start breathing again and it's great, but then they are in miserable withdrawals because that Narcan has basically completely replaced all of their opiates. So they come in and sometimes they can be vomiting and they can be miserable and it's this difficult situation where do you give them more opiates and then you put them back down and then you're going back and forth. There's not clear answer or great huge guidelines, but buprenorphine can be used to treat these situations, which kind of makes sense because buprenorphine can partially work as an agonist for those receptors that we have now totally taken away their opiates, and it can deal with some of the withdrawal symptoms and not make them totally zonked and you know needing more Narcan. So the dose answer we recommend is about 16 milligrams of buprenorphine to deal with these precipitated withdrawals, and it's something that I'm very interested to try. I haven't done this yet, but I think it makes great sense and should hopefully really help with the worst part of their terrible symptoms that they're having from getting pushed into these withdrawals and not overly sedate them. Same thing can be done if you give someone, you know, buprenorphine, you put them into withdrawals. The answer is more buprenorphine because it can help block those receptors again. And then sometimes you have to treat other symptoms as well. Sometimes you have to treat nausea with antiemetics. You can treat diarrhea with emodium. You can treat agitation sometimes with gentle sedatives like either Atarax or Zyprexa or a gentle sedative. So you sometimes have to treat the adjunctive symptoms as well. But hopefully there's ways to manage this without just letting these people totally suffer in their withdrawals that we put them into and keeping them safe. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.